Hello everybody and welcome one more time to Mercal's podcast and I'm very happy to be here. Let's get to it. In this case, we're going to continue taking a look at examples to use Fake Browser, the automation tool that is fantastic, my new my new best friend. So uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to give an example of how to uh, keep a pulse in how Google is indexing our websites, right? Um, so how do we do that automate, uh, auto automatically so that you don't have to worry about doing this every day and uh, by doing it automatically also you can check what are the differences, what's happening and uh, by understanding better the indexing of your website then obviously you can do a better job by, uh, by putting your, your website and promoting your website on the web. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps here in my workflow. Um, so I'm just going to go to the first one, which is I'm going to go to Google. Then I'm going to set the search box to my site column and then my site. Obviously here I'm using Dell.com as the example. Then I'm going to continue to the following, which is press the search key. Uh, because with site column, it doesn't allow you to use instant search. Um, all right. So after that, we're going to set a delay of 1.6 second to six seconds to make it look like a regular browser, like a human browser. And then we're going to click that more uh, options, more search options uh, here. And then we're going to go directly and click this past 24 hour button right there. Then we're going to click in the advanced search so that we can go and change the results per page to 100. So we're going to delay one more time for four seconds and then we're going to set it to the 100 results. As you can see right here, we're going to have another delay of six seconds just to, you know, to add a little bit of a delay so that you make sure that you don't upset the gods. And then there it is, as you can see, uh, you go back to the page. Once you're here, then we delay a little bit more for three more seconds and we set a variable that I'm calling C date um, so that I can uh, capture the web page with a different name every time so that I don't replace my previous capture. So I'm setting that in JavaScript and then I'm setting the captured page and saving it to my desktop. Let me show you the result. So you can see I have two now here. Let me just run it one more time by itself just to show you uh, the strength of this tool. It's going, it's doing, as you can see, it's taking the um, the steps that I set up for it, delaying, making everything just as a regular browser would. Um, and you can set this up with a cron uh, so that it does it automatically and does it every morning, for example, uh, so that at the end of the day you can just, or at the end of the week, you can set to see exactly how your your indexing was changing as you can see here and it's kind of difficult to see it in the in the preview window but you have the hundred results of the latest 24 hours of what has been indexed in Google this is extremely powerful especially for small business so let me just like change Dell.com for something a little bit different so fake app.com right just to see <laughs> let's run it like that there you go. So in this case, obviously, the 100 results doesn't even matter because the latest five pages that have been indexed by Google um, are, are simply five pages. But this is very interesting to just keep a pulse on what's happening, right? So as you can see, obviously, it didn't match any, any documents. Uh, so um, that tells you that uh, the site fake app dot com hasn't indexed any pages in the last 24 hours um, and you can change this to do it by month by week by year and uh, and also you can do it not just by site column but you can do it also in URL to see what mentions are out there every 24 hours so if I did in URL right as opposed to a site then let's take a look at what that renders 
you can see that it gives me 66 results you clicked on that it actually returned a, a a problem because I didn't set it up exactly for a new URL so probably didn't match exactly the the button that I needed so um, just an example you can see like how powerful this can be and um, I hoped that it works works to help some online marketers out there to do uh, responsible use of automated tools I hope that this helps and uh, see you next time